Hi, this is Pastor Timothy Apple of Grace Lutheran Church in Smithville, Texas, host of Sharper Iron here on Worldwide KFUO. Thanks for being a regular podcast listener of the program. What a joy it's been to journey through the birth, life, death, and resurrection of our Lord as we've spent the last three months in the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Our next series builds upon this last one. Starting April 15th, we're launching into the epistle St. Paul wrote to the Christian Church in Rome. This series, which will take us into the month of June, is titled, The Righteousness of God for You. St. Matthew has shown us how Jesus fulfilled all righteousness. Now, St. Paul proclaims that this righteousness of God is for us. To do so, he takes us back to the fundamentals of Christian doctrine. Our study of Romans will be an opportunity to sharpen our understanding of basic terms that our pastors introduced to us in confirmation class. Terms like sin and grace, law and gospel, justification and sanctification, faith and righteousness, and much, much more. As we dig in, we'll see that this isn't just an academic exercise. Rather, at the center of the doctrine taught in the Epistle to the Romans stands Jesus Christ, crucified, risen, and ascended for sinners. If you've studied Romans in the past, don't worry about getting bored. Your faith will be sharpened even more. In his preface to Romans, Dr. Martin Luther put it like this, This epistle is really the chief part of the New Testament and is truly the purest gospel. It is worthy not only that every Christian should know it word for word by heart, but also that he should occupy himself with it every day as the daily bread of the soul. We can never read it or ponder over it too much, for the more we deal with it, the more precious it becomes and the better it tastes. Join us the next two months as we taste and see from the book of Romans that the Lord is good because his righteousness is for us.